The Louvre Museum The Louvre Museum was originally constructed over 800 years ago as a fortress to protect the city of Paris from invaders. The fortress was eventually torn down and replaced with a palace that served as the royal residence of the French monarchy. By the 19th century, the Louvre had been transformed into a museum, open to the public. The Louvre Museum is now home to more than 35,000 of the world's most famous works of art, including the Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, and the Great Sphinx of Tanis. The origin of the name, Louvre, is unknown, though there are two theories held by most historians. According to the first, the word Louvre comes from the Latin lupara, meaning wolf, due to the presence of wolves in the area in previous centuries. The alternative theory is that it is a misunderstanding of the old French word lower, meaning tower, referring to the Louvre's original purpose as a defensive structure. In response to the growing outcry of the French middle class for access to the royal art collection, the Louvre Museum was opened in 1793, though it was closed for renovations shortly afterwards. The museum's collection grew rapidly as a result of the plundering of Napoleon's armies during the Napoleonic Wars. Many of the pieces taken from Italy and Egypt were returned after Napoleon was defeated at Waterloo in 1815, but the expansive ancient Egyptian collection that exists in the museum today is a result of this plundering. In the early 1980s, former French President François Mitterrand proposed the Grand Louvre, an expansion and renovation project of the Louvre Museum to better accommodate increased visitation. One of the most famous works of art in the world, the Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, has been on display at the Louvre since 1797. More than 6 million people visit the Louvre to see the Mona Lisa each year. This fame is almost entirely the result of a robbery that took place in 1911, when the Mona Lisa was taken from the Louvre by an Italian patriot who believed the painting should be in display in Italy rather than France. The thief was caught trying to sell the painting to the Uffizi Museum in Florence, and the Mona Lisa was returned to Paris in early 1914. As a result of Napoleon's expedition to Egypt, the Sphinx was discovered by French Egyptologist Jean-Jacques Raffaud in 1825 in the «Lost City» of Tanis and acquired the by Louvre the following year. It is positioned strategically as the sole, dominant figure at the entrance to the Egyptian collection of the Louvre Museum, just as it would have been positioned as a guardian at the entrance of an Egyptian pharaoh's sanctuary.